Oh my gosh, it is actually such a lovely day outside today. There's some big eclipse thing happening today. Hi everyone, it's me. Welcome to another video. We are doing another week in my life. Today is Saturday. It's like, what time is it? It's like 9 a.m. ish, I think. And we have some exciting things going on right now today, but you guys are probably wondering what you are standing on right now because you have probably never seen my room from this angle before. And it's because you are on a new piece of furniture and some of you may already know what I'm talking about because I've mentioned it in my past couple of videos, I think, but let's turn you around. I received my new bookshelf. I'm so excited. That's it behind me. I think it looks so good and it just like fits under those three framed photos or artwork that I've had for so long. They just fit like perfectly and I'm so happy about it. So you guys are used to seeing all my books here and like it's just getting a little stuffed, you know? I like a good filled bookshelf, like it makes me happy, but she's just overstuffed. We're overstuffed down here as well. And then I had books up there that I've now just transferred down there. As you can see, those were like my overfill. And I just like, I have literally books everywhere in the house and I'll show you, hold on. No, 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 we have more in this room. <laughs> so I have books like all across my like desk as well. And I don't mind them there, but I would prefer, like I feel like I would prefer my desk to be not so cluttered. So I might keep some on my desk, but like not all of them. And then I just have books literally spilling everywhere in the house, like in the living room. I've got like all of these. And I think some of these I'll keep down here. Like some of these are shared books, like this behavior book and this cookbook back here. I think I'll save some of these here, but like I want Pachinko in my room. Like I love this book, it's one of my favorite books. And I'm sad that it's like not in my office cause it didn't fit on my bookshelf. And like my Elin Hildebrand or Ellen Hildebrand. We just have like so many awesome books here that have just been chilling in the living room the whole time because I have had no space for them, but I want them back. I wanna claim them for my own. And then I have a couple books here. I think honestly, I'll keep all of these here though because these are also kind of like shared common public books. So yeah, I have two main things I wanna to do today. The first thing is reorganize my bookshelves because I have the new one built now and I need to like figure out which books go where. I think I'm gonna make that a separate video and I don't know which video is gonna come out first, but <laughs> that's the one big thing I need to do today. And the second thing is we are going out for dinner with my sister tonight, which is so exciting. I haven't seen her in like, a month, I feel like. I feel like it's been a long time. So I'm seeing my sister for dinner tonight and in between, who knows? I'll probably just get a lot of work done today, to be honest. I've got a lot of filming to do today, which means I will have editing to do. That's gonna be my Saturday. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did it. I'm sweating. I filmed my reorganization video. Again, I don't know what order these videos are gonna go up in, but if you wanna watch that, either look on my channel and see if it's there or subscribe and then you'll know when it's there. I did give like a more detailed tour of what I've done and like all the books I have, but this is the new shelf. That is what the old shelf looks like now. And I think I'm just gonna like rest or edit now. I don't know, we'll see. such a lovely day outside today. We just went on a big walk. I did actually a lot of stuff for YouTube today. I edited an entire video, which I'm so happy about. <laughs> you know that feeling when you just like accomplish so much? I feel that right now. So it's a good day. And on a walk, I got this lychee jasmine tea, this like iced jasmine tea. It was absolutely delicious. And then, yeah, it's it's like 12 degrees outside, which is like so warm <laughs> for my little 
Canadian heart right now. <laughs> I was even able to like take my little jacket off mid walk and like have my bare shoulders out in the sun, which like these shoulders, these little babies have not seen the sun in six months. So that felt really, really nice. It's 4 p.m. I think I'm just gonna honestly relax, hang out a bit. I'm reading Dance of Thieves currently. I started it last night and I read like 10 pages. So like I'm honestly not that far in and I don't really have much to say about it yet other than I am just so confused. <laughs> Cause I feel like when you first get into a new fantasy world, things can be a little bit confusing. And this was for sure a confusing start. I hope I'm not reading this wrong because I know there is another series that comes before this. I think it's called The Remnant Chronicles. I don't know. I just for some reason have no interest in reading The Remnant Chronicles, but I have interest in reading this Dance of Thieves duology. So I hope that like I'll be all right in terms of like picking up the world and the language and all that. But yeah, just like I read the first 10 pages last night in bed and I was like, I, I'm so confused. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna read for a little bit. We do have to leave at like six-ish to go to dinner with my sister and that's the day. Did I have anything else to say to you? Not really. Okay, I'm just gonna read. <laughs> Good morning. I had the most <laughs> interesting sleep last night. Not like interesting good, just like a very strange night. First of all, I had this weird dream where I was just really stressed out and really busy. Like I was just like stressed at everything. And I think it's because next weekend, like next Saturday and Sunday is gonna be like pretty busy for me. I have a wedding that I'm going to on Saturday. And then on Sunday I am going downtown. I'm watching a show. I'm having dinner with my sister. There's just like a lot of things going on. And like that probably doesn't sound like a lot of plans for like the average person. But for me, that's a lot. <laughs> I feel like on weekends, I usually like to plan like one big activity on one day. Like, like if I'm busy on the Saturday, I'd like to keep my Sunday free to give myself time to like rest, but also like do some work, like catch up on YouTube, reset, meal prep, chores, like all that stuff. I like to save one day of the weekend for that stuff. You know what I mean? Because like, I don't know. I feel like if you work like five days a week, you might understand <laughs> where I'm coming from. And so next weekend, I'm not gonna get that. And I feel like I was stressing out about it for some reason last night. And I had this dream where we were like fast forward to next Saturday, but instead of like just having the wedding to go to that day, I had like all sorts of things. Like I had the wedding, but the wedding was like moved to a venue like two hours away. So there was like commuting time. For some reason, my friend's bachelorette party was like that day as well but like I couldn't attend the whole thing because I had other commitments in my dream so I just like stopped by for like lunch at my friend's bachelorette. There was also like some sort of a book club event that I said I would go to and committed to and there was like a dance convention that day which I think is the most random thing because I haven't danced in several years and I just like there was a dance convention that day and I had to like spend at least like two hours at the dance convention. I don't know, it was really bizarre. So I had a very like, not very restful sleep. And then at like 4 a.m. there was a car that was just like racing or something outside on the street, like just outside our house. And like, you know when the cars, like when they backfire and it kind of sounds like gunshots or something? Like I heard that and then I woke up and I just like immediately like a state of absolute terror. <laughs> like I was so scared because I heard those sounds and I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And then I realized it was just like the car backfiring, but it was so loud. And then I couldn't fall asleep after. I tried to fall asleep for like half an hour. I was just like lay in bed. My eyes were like wide open. And then I like checked the time and then it was 4.30. So I couldn't sleep. So I just like, I don't know, I gave up 
and I woke up at like 4 30. <laughs> not the greatest sleep so hopefully I feel okay today I am I feel like I am like feeling a little bit sluggish right now just because I didn't get the greatest sleep but we have some things to do not too much to do today which is good today's like my reset day I also have a book of the month to unpackage so let's open this together I love when my book of the month arrives <laughs> and I feel like the, the options are always so exciting like I love picking my book of the month it's so adorable, oh my gosh. Okay, so this month I chose How to End a Love Story by Yulin Kuang. I have never read this author. Is this a debut? I don't know if this is a debut novel, but all I know about Yulin Kuang is that she is like a big part of Emily Henry's film adaptations. Like, you know how Emily Henry, like a lot of her books are being turned into movies. Yulin Kuang is like the screenwriter for one and then like the director of another one. So she's working with Emily Henry a lot. And I feel like anyone that Emily Henry endorses, like I trust Emily Henry with my life and soul. So like if Emily Henry approves of Yulin Kuang, I also approve of Yu Lin Kuang, so I'm really excited to read this. This is a contemporary romance. I think it's about like filmmakers, like the main characters are some sort of filmmakers. And yeah, it's a romance. And I think Huffy is getting a little hangry, so let's go make some breakfast. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. We make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, we'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride There's some big eclipse thing happening today. I'm not really supposed to aim my camera at the sun though. Did you just say big eclipse thing? There's this big eclipse thing happening today. <laughs> Don't really know much about space, but apparently the moon, it's like the moon. <laughs> going in front of the sun. Going in front. Is it the moon going in front of the sun or is it the earth going between the moon and the sun? Oh no, 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 that doesn't make sense. It's the moon be coming between the earth and the sun. But the moon's so much smaller, but it's closer. You know what's crazy? That the moon can cover that, the sun? Well, that the moon is the exact same size as the sun from our perspective. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's weird that the moon would just be like the same size, but it's like, the sun's way bigger obviously, but then the moon is so much closer, but then like they just happen to be the exact same size. Maybe they're not, maybe it's just like, it looks like it. I don't know. We're watching this live stream thing because we're not really going to be able to see it. Because first of all, we didn't get any eclipse glasses. Puffy looked for them and he couldn't find them. I tried, guys. I didn't try at all. <laughs> Low effort. <laughs> so we don't have eclipse glasses. So I'm like a little bit scared. I'm like, I don't even really want to look at the window because how about if I like look at it by accident and then my eyes like burn out. That would be <laughs> unfortunate and awkward. It would be really awkward. <laughs> Oh, look, 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 look. What? <gasps> wow. We moved my meeting because a lot of people wanted to like go out and see the eclipse. So yeah. my meeting has been changed to 4 p.m. So now I'm just hanging out. <laughs> I'm scared to look outside because I don't want to burn my eyes. If you guys didn't know this about me, I got laser eye surgery, I got LASIK. It's been like several years now. I feel like, I always feel like it was like last year that I did it, but it's definitely been like five years. And so like, I paid $5,000 to fix my eyes. I'm not about to like go and burn them off because of the sun. <laughs> so I'm actually really paranoid. And I'm also curious to see how the cats are going to act. Like, are they gonna be weird and like spooked that the sun's gone? I feel like they're a lot closer to nature than we are. Like they're a lot more connected to time and like the sun and the cycles of the earth and stuff. We're just like, kind of like dumb as humans like we don't really sense the same things that like like animals do okay i'll update you guys if the eclipse actually happens or looks cool <laughs>
this is absolutely bizarre. It is 3.15 p.m. and it looks so dark outside. And my camera's gonna, I feel like it looks really light through my camera right now, but it's like, it looks like it's evening outside. This is crazy. I'm just gonna like, just gonna camp out here by the window. And again, I didn't get solar eclipse glasses, which is so sad, but we can just kind of like hang out here for the vibes. <laughs> Lighting's kind of cool right here, actually. I've heard it kind of like fries your like camera if you try and use your phone or your camera to take a picture, but I don't know. What do I know? <gasps> it's getting so dark. Oh my gosh, there's literally a girl right there waiting for the bus and she's totally looking up at the sun and she has nothing on her eyes. I feel like I should warn her. <laughs> girl, put some glasses on. <laughs> Whoa. The street lights like all triggered. The street lights all came on because it's getting dark. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm trying like, I haven't looked directly at it. I, I saw it for like a second, for like a millisecond, but I like, obviously I don't wanna like stare at it cause I don't have eclipse glasses, but that's crazy. It's like literally nighttime. I wonder how the cats are. There's like people waiting for the bus and they're all just like looking at it, but I don't think they have glasses on. Do they not know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they like had no idea what was happening. They're just waiting for the bus and they're like, whoa, look. Yeah, it's getting brighter. It looked like literal night, but not yeah. even night. Like it looked like different than like I took some, I took normal a night. Photo of it. Let's see what, let's see what uh, Bowie's doing. Oh, Bowie. I can't even see him. <laughs> it's so dark. Bob's you okay? I can't even see her. It's so dark. You okay, Cookie? That was crazy. Wow, it's getting brighter so quickly. Yeah, it's like just going like right back to normal. On the NASA live stream thing, they were saying like when it went to night, they were literally like nocturnal animals that were confused and coming out and like bugs, like mosquitoes like were oh, coming really? out. Yeah. Yeah, because for a few minutes, it was like they literally thought it was night, like the animals. But I mean, it happens very quickly. Yeah, but I guess that's like, they just get triggered. They're just like, oh, sun's going down. And then they like come out and then they realize, and then they're like, oh, <laughs> and never mind. <laughs> I hope those poor people still have their eyeballs. <laughs> they're just like, no, they weren't. Like staring at it and they had like nothing on their eyes. They're just like waiting for the bus. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. <laughs> it's like two weeks after the eclipse happened. <laughs> so like the last clip I filmed in this vlog was two weeks ago. Honestly, I don't know what happened. I just, <laughs> life got in the way. I think I got really busy with work and then last weekend was really, really busy. I had a wedding to go to that was like all day last Saturday. And then I went to Les Mis. I went to watch the musical with my sister. So yeah, the weekend was really busy. I didn't film. And then I just like kind of dropped off this vlog and it just kind of went into the ether. Anyways, it is now the following Saturday. I am dying with allergies currently, if you cannot tell. Like I'm so congested, sniffly. My eyeballs are like killing me. They're so itchy, but I just, yeah, felt like I needed to end this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Literally two weeks later. What else do I even have to say? Um, I hope my next vlog is gonna be a little more interesting for you I hope I don't like drop the ball in the next one, but I don't know I feel like some exciting things happened in this one, right? Like the eclipse um, I don't really know what happened. What else even happened? It was so long ago Is it just me or do you also just like forget things that happen? Like people on Monday will probably ask me like people at work will ask me what I did on the weekend And I will not remember what I did 
and I'm just rambling now. So I'm just gonna leave you guys here for now. I'm so itchy. I'm sorry, I keep like itching my nose and my face. If you did for some reason like this video, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, let me know what the highlight of your week was. <laughs> if you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.